Hey guys, it's makeup tutorial time again. Okay. Hey, hot miss fan. Oh my god. Yes! Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. Today I am going to do something new. Um, I usually don't do haul videos only because I usually don't get that much for it to even constitute a uh, a video. I get, uh, I'm a, more of a, a grazer um, of sorts when it comes down to uh, getting new products. Uh, most of this is uh, beauty. I do think I have maybe one thing that's um, not beauty but I'm gonna stick it on here anyway because I got it when I was getting everything else and like I said I usually don't make these videos only because I just don't do it I just pick up one or two things here or there um, but this time around I with every uh, everything that's new out there right now um, since the first of the year I just had to do it I had to get on the bandwagon and um, there's so much to choose from that I picked and choose the ones that the products that I really thought that I would be using um, not just to have it in my collection I do like to, to collect but I also collect because I'm using it just so you know um, so I think I've had one haul video before so welcome back to look what I got ah! um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the stuff that I have not used just yet um, there things that I've just gotten um, seriously like a day or two ago and I've, I'm starting to play around with them. I will definitely have my two cents uh, for each of those videos so just look out for that if I am going to be doing a video on that. First off, I got this. Straight out of Compton. Um, I went to the video, uh, I went to the theater and watched this and it was freaking amazing. I'm not really into the, all that hip hop and rap and everything like that. But this was, this music was back when I was um, a teenager. So it kind of made me feel like it was back in the day. Um, I got this a while ago, but I thought I'd go ahead and um, show you anyway. Uh, it's Tartlet Palette. I have not even used it yet. It's been sitting around waiting for me to dig my hands in it. It is beautiful. Um, I've wanted this for so long that now that I have it, I kind of just don't even want to mess with it. But there will be a video on that sooner or later. And I just wanted to point out that I had finally got it. Um, let's see, I grabbed some more Demi Wispies. We all know about those. I love how these fit. Um, let's see, I got two and one of them, I actually am wearing one of them, but I got two of the CoverGirl True Naked um, palettes. Uh, I got the Goldens. This is the one I have not used yet. Um, and I've got the Rose. I'm actually wearing it right now. Um, but uh, there'll be videos for each one of these. So keep a lookout for that. Um, let's see, I've got another Wit n' Wild Color Icon uh, blush. This is in Fantastic Plastic Pink. Um, I'm not really very into pinks much, but I wanted to give this a whirl. It's very, just like it says, a plastic pink, so I'm interested to see that. I got suckered into these NYX Vivid Brights. Um, if these go as good as I think they are, I may go get a couple of the colors. I picked the red because I thought I was going to use it for a uh, tutorial. Uh, I did not use it for that, but it would be nice to have it in my collection. Just like a nice um, pop of color, especially in summertime. And I just couldn't figure out what my other second color is going to be because it was like buy one, get one half off. Then my son went ahead and picked the purple for me. So those are good choices. I have not used those, so I can't really tell you anything about it. Um, I picked up a Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid. I got this in the color Nude Thrill. I'm really into nudes lately. I know you can't tell with this purple lipstick, but I'm really into nudes, so I wanted to get a couple of them. And I really enjoy um, the Revlon Matte 
the Ultra HD matte. This is also, an, also a new one I got, um, so you can tell I'm, I'm all into nudes. But I really enjoy these, this brand, and I like how these are. Um, a lot of people are poo-pooing these because they're not strictly matte, like they're not drying your lips matte. Um, but I love how it works. I love the formula. The red one is my go-to when I go grab for a red. I am a big stickler with reds, um, uh, so I always grab it. I have a purple one, and I now I have this uh, nude one. Uh, the nude one went on swell, just like the other ones. I had no problem with it. So I'm excited about seeing this one, or um, using this one as well. So I have used that one. Um, let's see. Oh, I'm interested in this. Uh, Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 Hour Crayon. Uh, crayon. Um, I got mine in a creamy chocolate. They're basically like those, um, these color pop things, except they're in a stick. Uh, they didn't have that many colors, so. I'll have to keep you posted on that, but I um, will definitely do a video on this as well. I'm interested in it because it might be an easier way. I did swatch it, and it was nice because once I swatched it once, um, I it was blendable, and then another time I swatched it and let it sit, and it definitely sat there, so I'm really interested. This color I got because I wanted something that was going to be an easy, like a nice, swift, smoky eye, so I'm interested in that. I've heard nothing but raves about this Master uh, Prime Primer. It's by Maybelline as well. Um, I got the Blur and Redness Control, which is mostly like the green tint. I haven't used this um, yet either, but I'm kind of excited because somebody said it was just, it was amazing. Um, I'm kind of interested in the other one that, um, God, which other one was it? Like just the basic colored one. So I'm kind of, if this one works, I might try the colored one. And um, I'm actually wearing one of the colors now. It is these NYX liquid suede. Um, I may be uh, new to the new to the um, party because I haven't even heard of these until I went and grabbed them. Um, right now I'm wearing this purple one. I love it. It went on. Bam. Uh, let's see. This color is in uh, amethyst. Beautiful, beautiful. So I got again another um, matte and soft spoken. I got this nice, like um, I don't. It's not black. At first I thought it was black, but it's not. It's more of a dark gray. Um, this one's called Stone Fox. I'm kind of excited about. Um, I'm really into those blacks and grays. I uh, Well, I should say blacks. So this will be interesting. I think it's going to be great. And then I got a nice red. Um, and this one is in Kitten Heels. So I got those by NYX. I'm really excited because this purple one, amazing. I have, let's see. I got this at Costco. It's the Simple Sensitive Skin Expert Micellar Makeup Wipes. I'm, I don't think I've ever seen these. Uh, they were at Costco. I think I got them for like twelve or fourteen dollars. But it comes in. I get three, three uh, little packets of them, and there's twenty-five. Is there twenty-five of them? Yeah, twenty-five wipes in them. Um, so far, I'm enjoying them. I used these last night, and I'm definitely going to be using those tonight. And um, they're pretty big too. Uh, so I was really uh, pleasantly surprised. I usually use. The Equate Beauty, which is basically the uh, Walmart brand, and they come in a two-pack. I'm a big fan of not having to go back and grab some more. I like to have my products or my um, supplies there and ready. I used to be, I used to be a big, like I had to always have um, face wash or wipes. I always had to use them, but I've tried to calm them down. I'm trying to do more of a um, skin routine. Um, I am a little bit older now, so I've got to kind of uh, work on that a little bit. So I, I got those, but I wanted to try something different and I was at Costco and I thought, my seller, these would be perfect because it's all the rage right now. So I'm glad I got those and those are going to be lasting me forever. Plus I have another package of the Equate, so Mama's not going to have to go to the store to go grab any for a while. So I'm happy to be that, or grab those. Um, let's see, I got a couple brushes. Uh, I'm on the hunt for... Um, a nice fluffy brush. 
I've got this unassuming fluffy brush that I got in a pack when I first started and you'll notice that I have it in all of my um, videos and it's a two-ended thing and I just don't remember where I got it I don't know if I got it and it came in a pack see they come in these packets and they were double and the thing is is I love them I use uh, this this one and this one for sure and then it comes with a couple other ones like it was a great pack if I could find it again I would totally um, buy a couple more packets of those just because I I love how they are they're perfect but anyway I'm, I'm on a hunt for finding a fluffy brush and I couldn't find I couldn't find one but on my hunt for them I picked up a couple of the uh, let's see I picked up this ELF contouring brush I did use it I just kept it in the package so I can show you um, ELF came out with a whole bunch of other um, brushes and this one intrigued me the most um, I'm also uh, in the market for a good blush brush um, something a little bit smaller because all of mine are a little bit bigger so I'd like to get one something that's more concentrated but this one is a contouring brush it's perfect I love it I'm still kind of working on it but so far I'm digging it the brush bristles are very compact um, they pick up a lot so you got to be careful but it's it's just a nice solid piece and um, I think I got this for like six bucks not expensive at all not expensive at all um, I got another ELF small angled brush uh, I had one before but I don't know where it's at I use this I use this today to put my eyebrows on and I like it I have a couple of them or uh, well I use these green like cheap ones and this one doesn't work because it's almost too it's almost too uh, thin I might start using this for um, gel liner the one I do use well it's around here somewhere the one I do use um, is starting to get a little bit frayed and this one you can tell is very sharp on the edge so I wanted that Speaking of an angled brush, I got one of the new Wet n Wild angled brushes. Uh, these are their new, um, the new, the new uh, cruelty free ones. I haven't used this either. Look how pretty it is. It's the, it, I love it. It's this white with the pink tips. It's almost a shame to use it. But anyway, I'm going to try to use this. Oh, this might be too thick. We'll see um, for my gel liner. So we'll see about that. If that doesn't work, I will try this one, the uh, ELF. And the other Wet n Wild, I got this one, which was a large eyeshadow brush. Didn't even know. I forgot I got it, and I was just like, oh, I need this. But oh, and I want to get a fan brush for you know your uh, <coughs> your um, highlight. But this one I use today. They're kind of a shame because once they get dirty, it's like, yeah. But I use this for uh, putting on all of my makeup today, practically, other than my fluffy brush. And this was really good. It's just enough. It's just the paddle brush. Just the paddle brush enough for you to put on and pack on, you know, eyeshadow. But it's still fluffy enough to, to blend it out. I like that. And that, too, I think both of these Wet n Wilds were like only $2.00 excuse me a dollar as well as my ELF so I got a score on that I got two let's see I I ended up getting these essential tools rainbow wedges and um, this is what they look like when they're uh, not wet <laughs> and then I got one wet look how big it gets um, I wanted to get something a little bit smaller so I can use under my eye um, I think these are these aren't too bad I used it today this one isn't too bad and speaking of blenders I got these first actually I got the wedges first and then I saw these and I was like oh my god they look like little you know little blenders because you see my big one <laughs> my face one and then you get the small one I'll show you in comparison isn't that cute unfortunately I even got this wet and it works don't get me wrong but it's a little bit too it's a little bit too tough. These are the Up and Up. It's the Target brand. Um, mini Super Blenders. 
it's to apply and blend liquid and cream makeup for full coverage. Use a dry sponge for sheer coverage. Use a damp sponge. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe uh, I'm still working on these. Um, they won't go to waste, but I'm almost a little disappointed. Like this one's too soft and this one's a little too hard. If there was something right in the middle. I'd be, it would be perfect, but still working, still working on it. We'll figure it out. Um, I got some airspun loose powder. This is in the translucent. Um, I saw a lot of people using this and I thought I'm going to try this right now. I, or for a while there, I was using my ELF high, high definition, like translucent powder. And that's great. It works. But then for, for some reason I have, I've had this in my collection. I just never used it, but I got this uh, spring fresh lavender dusting powder. And I was using this for my, um, to set my under eyes and stuff. This works really well. And I thought if this works, well this is gonna be really well um, I like the packaging how small it is it's much smaller than this one and I wanted to kind of keep this on my vanity instead of this and maybe after this is done I can kind of transfer it just until I'm done with this and then I'm gonna go back to this we'll see but I got that um, let's see what in a wild photo Focus setting spray. Everybody's all talking about this I had to grab it um, a video will be out to tell you my thoughts um, Let's see. NYX Team and Fame. Uh, tinted brow pomade. Got this. Um, it's just like an, you know, an eyebrow kind of pot to use. I'm actually, I have it on today. Comes in this like little deal here. And I got the darkest one. I think this was, what color was this? I think this was, um, black it says black but it's like a really really dark brown i actually could have went for a little bit darker to tell you the truth but i worked with what i got and um probably won't repurchase this again but uh i'll use it while it's in my collection um i really wanted to try this out as well maybelline dream velvet it's a soft matte hydrating um foundation everybody was like yes 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 i'm wearing it today um i forgot to put um primer on um so this is straight out the bottle on my face and it worked beautifully uh it's still i still get a little concerned because i feel like um i'm putting something that's really dry on my face but um it, even for dry face people it works really well I'll have an in-depth um, video for that if you are interested in that um, let's see brow drama by iStudio Maybelline comes in this package uh, it's just a, a eyebrow pencil but it's one of those thick chunky ones video will be out with this one as well because I'm still kind of working with it. Oh, this is a I ended up getting and I ended up going and making a point to go to Target to get these because everybody knows I'm in love with um, anything Wet n Wild. They're the Wet n Wild Color Icon Ombre Blushes. I was just going to get one or two and then I figured forget it. I'll just get all three. Um, I was expecting the basic ones like more of the peachy pinky ones. Um, this is a pink one, the Princess Daiquiris, and then the uh, more peachy ones, the uh, Mai Tai Buy You a Drink. But I was excited to look and see in a purple haze. Yes, I'm wearing this one today. Um, there will be a video on that. We'll go ahead and um, I'm still trying everything out. So the videos, the what I'm telling you now is my first impressions, but the videos will be after I've used it for about a week or so. So that way I can give you a more educated thought. I've heard a lot about, a lot of people talk about this as well. Hard Candy Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer. 
no shit this is a heavy duty concealer i'm still working with it um we'll see we'll see um still it's still working so i got that and a poreless face primer i got another primer by elf this one says it fills in fine lines and minimizes the appearance of pores i do notice they have a whole handful of other face primers i was looking at the one that said highlight or hydrating um, but i looked over and this one said the poreless one i thought maybe this would be um something that be comparable to the professionals by benefit so i'll keep you posted there is a, going to be a video for that so i'm putting all my stuff back in the box for things that i know i'm going to have to put videos out for so that way everybody knows what's going on um let's see a couple more things wet and wild uh graphic marker eyeliner this is that thick um, the thick eyeliner. I'm wearing it today. And it comes in this like thick. It literally looks like a marker. Video for that will be out as well. I like to do all, all the things individually because you can go in and out really quick with the videos. I don't spend too much time. 15 minutes max usually. Um, and uh, but it could be two, three minutes, you know, depending on what's going on. So there may be a whole bunch of mini videos um, because in that way I can give you more of a educated, you know, you know, you know. Um, ELF it came out with uh, some skin products. I only got grabbed two because the other ones didn't seem like they would be something I was interested in. But now that I've tried these, I might go back and then come back and talk to you about all of them. I don't know. I'm going to go back and see what they have. But the ones that I did grab was a daily hydrating moisturizer. Um, this is basically just a daily moisturizer for your face. I needed one and I love ELF. So I got that one, still using it, so we'll see, we'll see. And then I got the Illuminating Eye Cream um, with purified water, cucumber, and green tea. They had like two or three other products. Um, some kind of serum that I believe, and uh, I don't even know. I was just looking at the ones I was wanting, and they weren't too terribly ex expensive. Um, I think one of these was $10 and the other one was 7 or six or eight dollars so they weren't crazy they weren't like breaking the bank and that's why i was like that's great because then you can just get the ones that you actually want to use i've had my hair my eye out for this nyx palette the highlight and con contour um pro palette i wasn't gonna get it but my son talked me into it he's like just get it you're gonna get it anyway um i got got so many other contour ones with the um uh, wet and wilds that I got last week you know these and I've got to say there's a couple colors that were kind of kind of the same you know because you've got you know you've got some like this banana like color um and I love the bronzers I have the bronzer on now I kind of contoured a little bit uh, but these are amazing great and I guess you can pull you can take these out and replace them so that's kind of cool as well but this is going to last me forever plus i have all the other contours that i have with wet and wild or whatever i really don't need i have no business buying anything else so i probably won't so watch out for me um doing all kinds of funny tutorials or whatever <laughs> i also got the uh garnier skin active micellar cleansing water i got the one that was removes even waterproof mascara they have another one that's just a basic one and this one's a waterproof one uh i've heard the word on the street is just to get the one that um that would even uh take off waterproof mascara um because it's just more better i don't know um this is my first time ever trying this i do have a different micellar water that i use but i'm thinking i might have a new favorite basically it's all separated and then you shake it up okay and i think that's it i think that's it um yes thanks for sticking by and let me show you what i bought 
what I got um, but that was it uh, I usually try not to buy too much at one time because I get overwhelmed and I really just want to buy the stuff and enjoy it that's why I do the beauty boxes so I can kind of go through it and enjoy something for a week or two um, but yeah I am excited for a lot of the things um, I don't think I've been disappointed I think I was disappointed on one product so thanks for sticking around and listening to me chit chat um, and I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, and if there's something that you really, really see that um, you want to see a tutorial or at least a chit chat uh, of how it worked or whatever, just uh, give me a comment below. A lot of the stuff I will be having videos out for, um, but it just depends on which one you want to see first. So there you go. Thanks again for stopping by. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe and maybe like the video. Bye, guys. Bye.